So the key number four, I love that. Mm -hmm. The most powerful of them. I love all of them, but this one is, yeah, it's, and you say that, you say of all the keys, this is the most powerful one. Love yourself. The truth is you are a beautiful soul. Realizing the truth of your beauty is the most powerful transformation of all. And that's, I mean, resonates true to me. So talk to me about unconditional love. Is that something that we must, in a way, set as an intention to love ourselves unconditionally? Absolutely. Is that our goal? Like if we could be healed? Yes. Yeah, right. <laughs> that is right, our goal. Right. Um, and that is when I see the transformation in people. When they start to learn that, yeah, I'm pretty cool. And I've got all these quirky things that make me unique. And I do help people smile and I help myself smile. And when you start discovering these things about you, and I think that's where self-love comes from, is from self-discovery, that you start to care about yourself and then you're willing to take risks. You're willing to make changes. I love to compare it to when you first start dating somebody and you want to learn everything about that person. You know, you want to learn what makes them happy, what makes them sad, what's your favorite food, what's your favorite color, all of those things. And as you learn those things, hopefully, um, you, <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> yes. without seeing red flags, maybe, um, <laughs> you, right. you fall more and more in love with mm -hmm. this person. Yeah. It's the same with ourselves. Mm. And I think society has given us this false idea that loving yourself is ego, that loving yourself is narcissism. That is not true. Loving yourself is knowing yourself and taking care of yourself and appreciating who you are and what you give to the world. And that's huge. Yeah. Huge. Yeah, I so. agree. What a beautiful message. Thank you, Heather. Yes. Yeah. It is confused with uh, selfishness, but it's the opposite. It's love. So it's self-love. I, I think that that's true, <laughs> that it is unconditional love. And because when you love yourself, you shine this light out and then you're, you love others. And you're also showing everybody else that it's okay. Shine your light. You know, I hate the phrase giving others permission to do it, but in some ways that's what it means. It's like, hey, I can do it, you can do it, you know, and look how wonderful it is. This state of happiness, how do you describe that? What is to be truly happy? To be truly happy, I don't see it as feeling smiley, giddy all the time. I don't see that as having this state of happiness. What I see as a state of happiness is this hum that kind of goes throughout your day and, and your life that you are content. So if, if I was to ask you, are you happy right now? And you had that flash in your head of, am I happy with who I am? Am I happy with my life? All of that. And if you could say, yeah, mm -hmm. I'm okay with all these things. Mm -hmm. That's this foundation of happiness. And I think that everybody can have that. I, I'm not asking, do you feel like you're perfect? Do you feel like your life is perfect? I'm saying that you can look in the mirror at yourself and say, you know what, you're pretty awesome. I'm kind of excited I get to spend the day with you. And so what, what this happens is that it builds this foundation of happiness so that when life storms happen, you have the soft, the soft foundation to land on that says, you know what, I'm going to be okay. It, it may feel horrible right now, but I know I'm going to be okay. And I think that's what that state of happiness is with that self-confidence and contentment, um, I think is wrapped up with also gratitude and having gratitude for what you have and the blessings in your life. I think that adds to the happiness and not everybody can see that right away. It, it's, I think it's almost a muscle that you kind of build this gratitude to seeing how lucky you are.